Okay, so if you're just tuning in, what should, um, what should define a leader? Is it the office or the person? As we move towards 2023, it is important that we have clarity on this question. Please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. I have a lot of messages. Um, I don't know if... Uh, let me just quickly take some before I um, bring in Barista. I have a big question. This is from Benson. It says, do we have examples of those in both private and public institutions we can consider as servant leaders? What names can we mention and which organizations do they run? Then, this is a very lengthy message. Ufoma is quite lengthy. He said, hi, Uwa. Some wise sage said, every nation deserves the leadership it gets. This applies to Nigeria perfectly. We are a society that has bastardized every good thing the colonial masters left in Nigeria and have perverted to, um, to concept of, the concept of rewarding merit um, by introducing the first concept like uh, federal character, quota state of origin, ETC. He said, we have now e evolved a system where people respect money so bad it, uh, is it, it, it is almost law and, and be in peril. But I can't take it so, it's so lengthy. So it's now obvious and uh, obviously partial to ho whoever pays. Ufoma, I'll stop here for now because your message is quite lengthy. Try to keep it short. Um, good evening. This is from um, Germany. Tony from Munich, Germany says, good evening, everyone. Um, Nigeria rulership has been hijacked by political bandits. What Nigeria needs is a peaceful revolution. We need leadership and not rulership. Thanks. That's from um, Tony from Munich. Then Ineka from Enugu says, Nigeria should focus on persons for now. We're still a growing democracy and are still on the path of building structures. So Taiwa Kilami, before we went on a break, right? Um, because yes. you are coming back on Wednesday because what you really touched on is quite big. And it's sensitive to the conversation around education, right? Where you say that the person that owns the thumbprint, the head is empty. The person doesn't even know the power that that thumb possesses, right? So if we understand this, for us that are enlightened, right? Given the current situation of Nigeria, you, the, you know the uniqueness of Nigeria. I mean, we were thinking we needed somebody that was strong on anti-corruption and all of that. But we have seen where it has landed all of us in, right? So... If we are to look for qualities, you know, in a leader, right, come 2023, what are the kinds of conversations that we should be driving around the persons? Because we know that leadership is more about the person, not really the office that they occupy. Okay. I, I think the first thing we need to get is the fact that a people will always deserve the kind of leaders they get. Mm -hmm. No matter in the lead the rights of the people are never delivered on a platter of gold no matter how good the leader is how well the leader wants to do once the leader is in the middle is in the midst of 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 uh, uh, of poverty in the midst of ignorance there is a demand that is placed on the leader to also react to that ignorance and all of that mm -hmm. so that is why that is why for me, the first thing we need to fix is not the issue of leadership. I think the first thing we need to fix is the issue of followership. Who are we that constitute Nigeria? And that is why in fixing the issue of leadership, uh, followership, we have institute a level of education. In instituting a level of education, you have to know that those who have turned Nigeria down are not interested in that kind of education. The kind of education they are interested in, the kind of education that puts, that puts us under fear and trepidation. That's the kind of education. The education that teaches us to control, to not to read, that kind of education study. Oh, sugar, I'm having a bit of trouble <laughs> getting. I'm hearing Taiwa Kilami, so I'll take some questions while I'm trying to reconnect with him. Um, this is from Ade from the UK. Thank you so much, Ade. He said, Good evening, ladies. We don't have leadership in Nigeria, but drillership. Okay. <laughs> they come into power to loot and do cross, uh, crossing party like um, changing girlfriends. They must be put on minimum wage so it's not, it doesn't look attractive to this um, political... Um, I can't mention that one. <laughs> um, Lami, are you there? 
Lami. So I, I think yes, Uwa. Okay, so so let me go ahead because I, I I'm having trouble hearing um, Taiwa Kilami. Do you have a question, Lami? Okay, I think today is uh, an interesting day. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> while we're trying to get all of them back, so let me try to finish up. Um, um, you from us comments that says we have now evolved a system where people respect money so bad is it that the law that should be imperial is now obviously partial to who can pay case in point ibori um he has a, he was acquitted by nigerian uh by nigerian court but was called to question by the uk legal system we have made education a luxury that the colonial master made basic the best schools are now private when they used to be public in the past. People celebrate who, ha um, who has money to throw without questioning the source of the wealth. So Nigerian leadership um, situation is inflicted by Nigerians themselves. Using the current administration as example, they promised heaven and earth in 2015. Failed woefully, being the first term, um, but uh, by the first time rather, uh, but the same Nigerians vote voted them in for their return. Even if the elections were rigged, the same Nigerians cooperated with rigging. Now some Nigerians are packing, sorry, packaging the same persons who arranged and made it possible for this administration to gain power to succeed him in 2023. We need to be intelligent and serious-minded about what we want. Thank you, Foma. Very lengthy conversation. All right, so let me take one final comment and I'll come to Lamy. Both the person and the office define a leader. Just that in Nigeria, the system currently in place gives too much power to the office and the elections are not a true representation of the people's choice. Thank you so much, Ima from Lagos. All right, so um, Lami, I mean, there are so many conversations, yes, so many talking points. I mean, um, Taiwa Kilami raised the very strong issue on education, which is what we we're talking about on Wednesday, by the way. And when he talked about political office holders that have been marked as leaders. So how do we even correct this? You know, because if we, we are, we've already seen that this is a big problem, we do not have leaders. I mean, from your opening statement, you already confirmed to me that we don't have leaders. We only have political office holders, right? So if we know this, what should um, 2023 look like? You know, what kinds of, what kind of um, people should we be looking out in terms of, you know, um, uh, um, the person that we should be electing in, 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 in office? You know, my private thought is that we are not ready for 2023. Definitely not. We're not ready now. We have just started having the conversation. At this time, we should already have about 10, you know, to 15 people who have made their intentions known. Then start streamlining them and all that. Then how to, you know, pull ourselves together to say, okay, these are the questions we're going to ask. And as Mr. Taiwa Kilambi just said, education is very, very fundamental. The, the, the vote of an illiterate is the vote of a literate person, hmm. of an informed person and an uninformed person. So that is part of the problem. Where, and unfortunately, they constitute the majority of the electorate. Hmm. So I, if I tell you I have an answer to 2023, I don't. There was a question. I don't think that this degeneration did not start. It didn't happen over two years. It happened over 60 years. Mm -hmm. So which way forward? Well, at least the journey has to start. Mm -hmm. How are we going to start the conversation? There was a question that was raised. And I think the best... Sorry. Go I ahead. think my answer now would be volunteering. We mm -hmm. need to volunteer ourselves, go on the streets, and start doing the job. That's the only way. That Organize was, a community organize, organization. Yeah. Uh, so there was a question that was raised about who can we even point to right now, currently in Nigeria, to say this person is a true leader. Maybe we should start from there. So that we can now say, okay, these are the people we should look out for. Okay. But what if the person is not projecting themselves for, that, for the office? What do we do about that? There are quite a number of people that I can see. From the top of my head, I can point that, yes, they would make it true leader. And I can tell you without any, not because I'm being tribalistic or anything, but I can mention two people. Please mention. I can mention Professor Yemi Oshiba. Okay. And I can mention ex-governor of Lagos State, Fashala. 
Okay. Baba, uh, Baba Tide Fashion. I can okay. tell you that they would do a good job. They'll do given a good, the opportunity. Given the opportunity. But you see, this thing that you're talking about, um, um, someone, when, I, when this question came up of towards defining what a leader is towards um, 2023 office or the, uh, or, the, or the person, somebody said that, have we ever sat down to think about precedence in Nigeria? Do we check on people's track record? That because if we truly looked at President Muhammadu Buhari then before he became the president, what was exactly his track record, right, that he had that gave him that, um, that clout that everybody just looked at him like the beacon of, um, uh, what's it called, anti-corruption and all of that. What was, what was the real track record? That we do not monitor track record in Nigeria. Can I give do, you agree, do you agree with that? Can I give them that? Yes, go ahead. My answer is, don't forget that this same president came to us begging for our vote three times, and we turned him down three times. Hmm. Why was it turned down three times? We obviously knew that he could not deliver. But at the fourth time when he tried, we were completely in a state of war. At the end of the road. Okay, I think we've got, we have Paris that time we're killing me back. <laughs> we can hear his no, Google Maps. They packaged him for us, Mr. Integrity. So all the questions that were supposed to be asked were overlooked hmm. because we just wanted a glimmer of hope. Turn right and then... Wow. If we don't start doing something actively, we might also get into that in 2023. Absolutely. It might also happen in 2023. So, Taiwa Kilami, I think I can I can hear your your Google Map <laughs> interrupting my show. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> but can you hear me? <laughs> I can hear you. So, you know, you were talking about the the office of the followers, right? You were talking about followership. Yes. So maybe you should take it off from there because See, can you, Taiwa Kilami, can you yes. point to five people that you consider as leaders in Nigeria that okay, these are the quality of what leadership should look like. Within the political space, yes, at the moment, or, 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 or generally, no, within the political scene at the moment. Well, within the political scene at the moment, I think that um, there is a consensus as to the quality of people. There is a consensus in terms of interest, whether you whether you belong to APC or you belong to PDP or you belong to any political party. Sugar, why are we having trouble? Uh, Lamy, are you there? there, and there. So, as it is today, everybody in the political space today has been tested and found one. Everybody, hmm. if we begin to compare notes, you can tell me those who have. If you talk about the vice president, the vice president is in this government, is an active member of this government, is the number two man. In this government, mm -hmm. the truth of the matter is that what has happened with that, you know, very what is supposed to be a place of influence. You talk about the normal, uh, the former governor of Lagos State. He has he was given three ministries: Ministry of Works, Ministry of Power, and one other ministry. Housing. In the first regime of this government, what happened to those ministries? Where were those ministries now reduced in the second? when he was appointed the second time. What we need to understand is that we need to understand the purpose of states. The state exists for the welfare and the security of the people. Whosoever is going to hold political office must have that at the back of his or mind, that the welfare and the security of the people shall be the primary aim of government. That has been clear under the principle of social contract. So if you do not have the track record, of someone who have the interests of the people at heart, demonstrably without holding political office, you cannot you cannot become that kind of person because you are elected into the office. Look at the example of Tuben Abiola. Without holding political office, he cut across every structure of Nigeria. It was not it was not a moralist. It was it was not a, it was not a moralist at any level. Mm -hmm. But something was shown to the people across Nigeria, whether the West, the North, or the South, that this man has the interest of the people at heart, the interest of the poor, the Oipoloi, the horse of wood and dress of water. Mm -hmm. It was clear. And that was why he won that election convincingly before it was annulled. So look around you. Such matters may exist, but we have not found them today. 
with, within the political base. The people you find in the political base are political jobbers, career politicians who do not have any claim to what, any claim to influence outside politics and doing the bidding of their political fathers and political mothers and their political uh, 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 interests. That's the kind of people we have today. So what needs to happen is that this system needs to be overhauled. The present cup of leadership needs to, needs to be overhauled and we need to begin to look at within us people of character, people who can, who can, who can deliver. That is a search we need to embark on. But as it is today in the horizon, such people do exist, but I don't, I don't see them within this political space. Look at the political space. I don't want to mention names. Look at, look at the quality of people that we have. Even when they're cerebral, even when they are brilliant, their brilliance is onto what? Is it onto changing Nigeria? Is it onto bringing power to the doorsteps of the people? Onto what? When you say a man is brilliant, he's a professor of law. When you say a man is brilliant, he's a student of professor of Nigeria. Now onto what? How so you those are how are you translating issues. how are you and, translating and that so brilliance me, into nation building? Hello. Yeah, I was saying, uh, Tawa Clement, I was saying that how do you translate that, that um, brilliance into nation building? But you know, the thing is, because we run out of time, I think we'll just uh, probably, uh, because I'm having difficulty hearing you, but we're bringing Taiwa Kilami back on Wednesday. So we're going to be continuing like almost like a part two where we talk, we now focus on education and its role in nation building. But thank you so much, Taiwa Kilami. I have to let you go because I'm having a tr uh, trouble um, thank you hearing so you. Much. Thank you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you so much. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. All right. So um, Lamy, Rafael Akori has sent in another message. He says, honestly, we should not expect anything different in 2023 because we are yet to have any political party in Nigeria with any, uh, any of the ideology, you understand? Any iota, rather, of ideology. I just did laugh. That's from Rafael. So I was going to ask you, Lamy, what do you think? Should we start pushing for the... Because a lot of people mention the lucrativeness of the office, right? Do you think if we start to advocate that... The office, the that that juiciness of that office is, you know, the they change it to bitter leaf. You know, it's no longer juicy. It's become it's become bitter leaf. Do you think that will solve um, us now actually getting the right people that are ready to serve the country? Who is going to ensure that they make it sound? Hmm. Is it not a prime crop of people? So we are in a tangle, and I don't see how we're going to untangle ourselves from this. You know, it is fundamentally wrong. The foundation is fundamentally flawed. So I don't think we can start taking it from the top. I think from what Mr. Akinla makes it, we have to take it from the basics. Mm -hmm. Education, 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 education. And I'm, I'm, I'm not so, just classroom education. I tell you. you know, political education. Everything. I love what he said. Imagine they, I mean, saying that you apply for a, a, a political education fund where you can, you can get free money to go and study about the politics of Nigeria. That's to tell you that the government is serious now, if they, if they begin to do that. But thank you so much, Lamy. We are bringing Taiwa Kilami again on Wednesday because I, thought I saw something very profound on education. And I want us to discuss how we can use education as a tool for nation building. Lamy, I can't get tired of talking. I love my country. I'm not part of the people that want to penetrate or relocate. I'm in Nigeria, so we do not have a choice. It's actually tiring talking about it, but we don't have a choice. We need to keep on talking about it. As long as we have a mouth, we'll keep on talking about it. And we're hoping that, by God's grace, we'll get uh, to birth a new Nigeria. Thank you so much, Lamy, for a fantastic conversation. Thank you. Yeah. All right, so Waze was birthed from the need to inform, inspire, and influence lives towards action. And this year, we started our CSR focused on curbing unemployment in Nigeria. So if you are a company, please partner with us um, by allocating internship slots. And if you are a job seeker, keep watching Waze and follow us on all our social media handles, as this will be an all-year-round engagement. So tell your friends to keep all eyes on Waze. Now, in case you missed today's quote, here it is again. Leadership isn't about, is, is about vision and responsibility, not about power. Um, so we'll see you live tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Enjoy.